As I said on Monday, there are credible reasons to believe that agents of the government of India were involved in the killing of a Canadian on Canadian soil. That is something of the utmost and foundational importance in a country of rule of law, in a world where international rules-based order matters. We have uh, rigorous and independent, uh, just robust processes that will their course. And we call upon the government of India to engage with us to move forward on getting to the truth of this matter. Hello, Mr. Shooter. Mackenzie Gray with Global News. So far, none of the U.S., U.K., Australia, or New Zealand have echoed the allegations about India. We know you gave some a heads up to some of those world leaders. Did you ask them to publicly condemn New Delhi? As a country of the rule of law, we have an obligation to ensure uh, that those processes unfold in a rigorous and independent manner, and that is what we are ensuring. At the same time, we are ensuring that Canadians stay protected and that we stand up for the international rules-based order. That is something that we are doing, and it's something we are doing alongside our allies. But so far at this point in time, you seem to be alone in echoing these allegations. Are you concerned that Canadian allies have not gone nearly as far as you in this situation? We're standing up for the rules-based order. We're standing up for the rule of law. We're highlighting how unacceptable it would be for any country to be involved in the killing of uh, a citizen on their own home soil. And that's something we will continue to stand for. Uh, Prime Minister, uh, since you made your statement in the House of Commons the other day, some of the reactions, some of the conversations have been about the quality of the evidence, how much Canada has. Uh, you said it was credible. Can I ask you to characterize it just a little bit further um, about how extensive it is, it is, how solid it is, um, and whether you might ever share some of that with the public? So how extensive is this evidence? I think it's extremely important that as a country with a strong and independent justice system, we allow those justice processes to unfold themselves with the utmost integrity. But I can assure you, the decision to uh, share these allegations on the floor of the House of Commons Monday morning was not done lightly. Uh, it was done with, or Monday afternoon, was done with uh, the utmost seriousness. Nous avons un système de justice rigoureux qui va suivre les étapes requises. Mais je peux vous assurer que la décision de partager avec les Canadiens ces allégations extrêmement sérieuses lundi après-midi n'a pas été prise à la légère. So, I mean, uh, if I understand correctly, are you suggesting that the evidence was extensive? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying, I'm repeating what I said on Monday afternoon, that there are um, credible allegations uh, that uh, we need to take extremely seriously as Canadians and indeed as a world. Prime Minister Modi confirm or deny these, uh, these, uh, these allegations when you talk to him about them? As I said, I had a direct and frank conversation uh, with the Prime Minister uh, in which I shared my concerns in no uncertain terms. Hi, Prime Minister Tom Perry, CBC. Can I ask you, I, you've been asked about this already, but um, India has suspended visa services here in Canada. Are we going to reciprocate? Are you going to take some kind of action uh, tip for tat action in, in this? We call upon the government of India to take seriously this matter and to work with us to shed full transparency and ensure accountability and justice in this matter. We are a country of the rule of law. We are going to continue to do the work necessary to keep Canadians safe and to uphold our values and the international rules-based order. That's our focus right now. And when the two Michaels were taken into detention by China, you were quite successful. Your government was quite successful in rallying international support for Canada. 
it seems that countries are less eager to take as firm a stand on India. Why do you think that is? In the situation of the two Michaels, Canada grounded itself in the rule of law, in our values, in upholding our international treaties and obligations, and demonstrated that as a country of the rule of law, we will remain anchored in it. That's what we did as a country, and that's what we do on the international stage, whether we're standing up for Ukraine or emphasizing the importance of the international rules-based order in other contexts. The rule of law is there to protect Canadians. It's there to protect all citizens around the world. And Canada will always be crystal clear on our defense of that for the protection and safety of everyone. Hello, Prime Minister. Joy Malvin from CTV. I've got a question for my colleague in Ottawa, and I have another question about Ukraine. But first, can I ask you a couple of things about India? Will you share the evidence? And the other question about India is, can you tell us what kind of uh, precautions that Canada is taking, security measures uh, at the High Commission in India? Uh, first of all, um, Canada has a rigorous and independent justice system uh, that we trust. Uh, to follow through the processes. As a country of the rule of law, we will ensure that those processes are strictly uh, abided by and respected. In terms of safety in Canada and safety of Canadians, we always uh, take the safety of Canadians extremely seriously, whether at home or overseas. I can assure everyone that Canada is a safe country. I continue to call uh, for calm and for Canadians to remain true to who we are, open, respectful, grounded in uh, respect and trust in our institutions and uh, our law enforcement and justice systems. Le Canada est un pays secure, un pays qui respecte les différences, un pays qui va toujours être là pour défendre la sécurité et le bien-être de nos citoyens ici au Canada ou ailleurs à travers le monde. Nous allons continuer de le faire.